Ertuğrul Gözelkan. I'm a professor with UNC Charles Systems Engineering and Engineering Management. I'm Joanna Ficatier. I'm a master student in the Master of Engineering Management at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. We are trying to really help our veterans uh, in terms of glaucoma compliance, but ultimately help them with uh, you know, glaucoma uh, consequences, reduce the glaucoma related consequences, stabilize uh, uh, things, uh, uh, negative effects of glaucoma on our veterans. Yeah, we applied the Lean Six Sigma method that are widely used in the manufacturing industry and that are starting to get used in healthcare as well. It was very interesting for me to see how this method can apply to healthcare and it actually helped us a lot in the management of this project and to get good results. When you look at the global trends, you know, glaucoma is increasing, the people with glaucoma is, is increasing. So we are hoping that by looking at different factors, and in this case we look at 20 factors that can actually relate to glaucoma compl treatment compliance. So we are hoping identifying those a few influential factors and determining the glaucoma uh, treatment risk uh, patients ahead of time and helping them uh, so imp to improve basically uh, you know, their, uh, their health. Okay, so my name is Andrea Navas, I'm an industrial engineer at Intel Corpor Corporation. My name is Raquel Centeno, I'm an industrial engineer and also for Intel. So basically, um, we validate a lot of, of, our, of our metrics, capacity metrics in at Intel, and we had uh, one very manual, meaning we had to be in front of the machine with a stopwatch, um, um, measuring the, the speed of, of the handler of this machine. And, um, and, and our process is very complex because it's not only one machine, not only one product, but Hundreds of machines, five different factories, thousands of products thousands running in the products. same. Exactly. And the so, situation with that one is if you want to increase the volume that you want to pass through the machine, so actually you should purchase more machines. And what if, if the machine is super expensive? So how you're going to avoid any purchase and even though pass all the, all the volume through the machine? Mm -hmm. So with this manual validation, uh, we were spending at least 14 hours just to get one validation uh, with a good, good sample size for one product. Uh, so we went to the whole Lean Six Sigma uh, methodology and uh, we came with, with some solutions. Our ideal state is to be able to get the data directly from the computer, but because this is an old machine, we cannot access this, this, this database. It's, uh, it's, it's from the vendor, we don't have access to it. So we came with a semi-automatic solution, which is getting um, remotely to the uh, computer of the, of the machine and getting the log file from there. And the improvement is not only on the time, as you can see, we improved from 14 hours to 10 minutes, but also on the sample size. Yes, I remember this one. We have a big machine, we are not capable to get this specific parameter from, from the databases on from the machine and we were doing uh, manual validations in front of the tool. The situation with that one is that we are going to have a lot of errors. So what we have done is like, uh, okay, we have sensors in the machine. Let's go and see if, those is, if, if we can find that information in that machine through the sensors. So we talk with the vendors and the vendors telling us like, yes, you have some log files in the machine and then you can access the log files and you can extract that information direct from that handler computer. And then you can download that information and do the statistical analysis. The situation with that one is that the statistical analysis through uh, extracting the data through, from the machine, now we are spending 10 minutes. Before we were spending to get a lot of data around 14.4 hours, mm -hmm. right? So we just create a comparison, right? That is yeah. the manual validations versus the semi-auto. Is the manual incorrect? No, no, it's not incorrect. We, we demonstrate statistically that the validation is accurate and also adequate. The situation is that we spend a lot of hours on this one, but now we are, we are we, even though we are accurate, 
and we are extracting that information in less in less minutes and then we can extract a lot of information from mm -hmm. different factories across the world. Yeah. And now we can spend that 14 hours not in data extraction but in actions, really creating actions, data analysis and then we are able to say okay if we're not meeting the targets we can go validate again and provide solutions and make sure that the solutions are uh, closing the gaps that we have. And one more thing, this is a repeatable methodology so it's not just one tool, you can, you can you can extrapolate this and create this same methodology in other machine or in other process across different factories and across different areas.